Collecting has been an amazing journey for me. I don't know why every time I talk about my country, it's like I just, I don't know, I get overwhelmed by it. The art scene in Peru is very exciting because creativity abounds here. But I think that sometimes artists need to be given that sort of security to go for their own ideas rather than follow elsewhere's ideas. I have been collecting for 20 years now and I've seen that often the ideas don't come immediately but they come in subtly. You remember colors, you remember forms or composition or effects or simply the idea that when you want to say one thing, you don't need to say it in a direct way, but you can say it in a different way. Collecting has been a very interesting journey in my life because I've learned to feed from another world that isn't the fashion world. I decided to sell part of my collection because I've started a museum in Peru. And the museum has many possibilities. MATE starts as a platform to promote art in general, either to bring artists from abroad and show their work here and make them have a conversation with a local art scene, at the same time to promote Peruvian artists both locally and abroad. Tonight we are at the opening of Mate. I'm in. <laughs> We're doing Masters of Photography with Graciela Iturbide. We're doing Chris Levine, which opens a show called Light is Love. Thank you, Mario. And we have Christian Mendayan from the Iquitos region of Peru, who has done the letters, you know, every six months we change these letters and we give it to all different Peruvian artists. The interesting thing for me now is that collecting goes into a new thing. I'm not collecting objects anymore. Maybe I'm collecting experiences by having people come to the museum and show their work. And today, by selling these pieces, I might be able to help a lot more people by giving them the opportunity either of learning something, of showing something, of exposing something. And at the same time, it will allow us to help Peru become more and more a part of the world art scene. No, I think there's times in your life when you need to shake it up, let things go, let new things in, let things take other roles. And in this case, I'm very excited about selling these pieces will create a whole new thing for many other people.